Day 7. So today we are going to be taking you on a virtual fieldwork tour of the Ramsgate so you can complete your fieldwork which you would normally be doing around about this time. And oh, I think we have a, I think we have a visitor. Is Good that... morning Mr Toppin. Good how are you? Lovely. I'm very well thank you, how are you? I'm very well thank you, how is social distancing going for you? Well, it's going as, going as well as it can be at the moment. Perfect. What are we talking about then? Well, I was currently explained to our year centers how we are going to do our field work, but virtually, because coronavirus has stopped us going out at the moment. Sounds interesting. Tell me more. Okay. So whenever we do field work, we tend to start with a hypothesis. But this is a theory or a prediction about what we expect to happen. We then come up with a methodology. How are we going to collect our data? Then we go out and do the data collection, analyze our data, and with that, we will start to draw conclusions. Was our initial hypothesis correct or was it wrong? So during the course of today, myself and Mr Dudley, we're going to take you around Roundsgate so we can try and get you guys out and about so you can actively do your field work. And what a lovely day for us. Have you got a sign from Mr Toppin? I have indeed. Good to hear. Thanks of all. Right, shall we get started? Let's go. Quality survey. Well, an environmental quality survey, Mr. Dudley, or EQS, is a survey that geographers will do or undertake to try and work out which of the locations is best kept. Some of the aspects that we look at include litter, vandalism, open space, cars, noise, number of people, uh, is there a lot of street lighting, etc. So, why would you want to find out this information? What's the purpose? Excellent question. So, it will help identify areas of the local council to invest money in. Table, including litter, vandalism, open space, street furniture, noise, street lighting, cars, and people. To determine how an area feels and looks, we need to rank each one of these factors from one being poor and five being excellent. So, to begin with, we're going to look at litter. Looking around this area right here, I can see very few litter, however, it does feel a little bit dirty in places. It doesn't look like the most well kept place, so for me, oh, okay. I would rate this area 4 oh, out of 5 for litter. So, moving on to vandalism, as we can see from these vaults here, there is quite a lot of vandalism. Look at the cat graffiti there. Personally, I'm a fan of cats, but in this context here, it kind of ruins the aesthetic feel of the Ramsgate beat that we're trying to get. However, if we zoom the camera over this way, we can see some artwork put up by the developers One of the aspects of the EQS is to look at how many people are here. So ranking from one, not very many people, five, there being lots of people. Usually we've done this project, there hasn't really been many people down here. One of the reasons for that could be the weather. Beaches are very much weather dependent. On the other hand, the time of the day that we are visited is currently 12.15 on a Tuesday in June. So normally people be at school, they'd be at work, you wouldn't really expect it to be that busy coming down to the beach this time. However, there's a lot more people than usual. 
something has happened in the last three months. Can you think what has happened in the last three months which might mean more people are out and about on the beach today? One of the things you'll need to do later on in the project is a data analysis. Your data analysis is you suggesting reasons for your results. We scored the litter quite highly. One of the reasons for this could be the copious amount of bins that have been provided by Fannic Council. Bin here, as you go along, you can see a bin at each walkway through point down to the beach. If we zoom the other way though, we can see these bins in action. That sounds quite exciting, it's not really that exciting, we're just using a bin. But over there you can see a bin overflowing. If that bin isn't changed, that could potentially change the litter score from four down to a three, maybe a two, or even a one in due course. Okay, so one other data collection method you can use on your field work includes taking a field work sketch. Now we're not looking for the next Turner artist, it just needs to be a basic sketch of any of the landforms or features that you can see. Basic information also needs to be included on this, including the date, the time of day that you've done it, the weather, and what direction you are facing. So looking behind me, we'd be wanting to look at all of those landforms, all of those tourist attractions, all of those features that might encourage people to come and visit around. Hello U7 and welcome to your second location for your fieldwork trip. Uh, we are currently now in the Royal Harbour here and one of our data collection techniques we're going to be doing now is our second EQS. So I'm looking around the area in the very close vicinity near me. I can't see that much litter, so I'll probably give it a four, maybe a five. Looking around again at vandalism, again, not that much vandalism. There's a tiny bit of graffiti over there on that bin, so I might knock that down to a three. Open space, there's a, there's a fair amount of it. There's not too much vegetated space, so not a lot of garden areas. So I'd probably give that a three. Uh, street furniture. So looking just behind me there, there's a number of benches for people to sit uh, socially distant from one another. Uh, noise. Currently right now there's a man on a motorbike creating a racket. Uh, and obviously you do have the road behind me, so you will hear the noise of cars. Uh, sometimes you might hear the noise in the harbour where people are working. Uh, but currently I'd probably give that a three. Street lighting, just behind me, there's one, two, three, four, uh, lamps, so that will keep the area well lit night time. Uh, cars currently is not that busy, there aren't that many cars passing me uh, constantly. There is obviously a car park just over there to my left. And finally, people. It's not busy, it's not Hyde Park on a summer's day, but it's not deserted. There are a number of people behind me on those benches there. So probably give that a two or a three. So I'm going to total that up out to 40, and I'll be comparing that with the beach and the high street. The next part of your field work will be a photo analysis. On the book that you can provide them with, there's a photograph that was taken three years ago in this exact location. What we'd like you to do is annotate that photo. What can you see? Is there a hotel there? Are there any shops there? Any restaurants? Any cafes? What can you see? The label is on there. The second thing that we'd like you to do, can you identify any differences from the photo you've been provided with to the new photo that was taken this year? Okay, so welcome then, Year 7, to our third location for our field work. Here we are in the centre of Ramsgate Town. This is going to be the final place where we do our EQS. Uh, so we're going to be looking again at litter, vandalism, noise, people, cars and open space. So again, total your EQS out of 40. And then when you're back home, back at school, we can then look at our hypothesis and see whether it was the town centre, the beach, or the Royal Harbour that had the best EQS score. Okay.